When it feels like Fallout Bay, what do we do? Use a crock pot. <laughs> <laughs> Whose video? Her video. <laughs> well, I guess I'll wait until she wants to do it the way she wants to do it. They say hope? Yes. What? I don't think the outro was necessary. They say hope. Yep. We'll shred them later. It's like every time. It's like every time. It's been a minute. It's like last fall when you did this. Good luck. Everything's packed up. You're going to be guesstimating. Just guess. Just guess. We at least have a spoon. <laughs> They act like seasonings Fort Knox and have the seal on it so tight where you can't get into it. It's just gold. Ninety-eight cents. Gold. Ninety-eight cents gold. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. Her way consisted of not even letting you know what we're making today. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome to Stiver's Homestead. I'm Zach. I just stepped on Jen's toe. And I'm Jen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and today is in the kitchen. So what are we making today? Crock pot cream cheese chicken chili. Ooh, yummy in the tummy. It is really hit cool temps here in our area. Uh, so that means crock pot comes out and Jen gets us some kind of soup. Maybe. Yeah, got the windows open. It's a nice day and we might have company this evening so we're gonna go ahead and make this it's really really good i think i started making it like three or four maybe five years ago yeah i feel like you we've had it ever since we've been yeah together. not in the summertime only when it's cold yeah. and it's really really good and it's super easy you can put it in the crock pot and leave home or you can do it and sit by it and stir it all right well, let's get right at it and you have to make this too <laughs> Okay, so first of all, you're gonna take three or four chicken breasts. These are really, really big, so I'm just gonna use three and put them in the bottom of the crock pot. It's already on. Okay, so you're gonna do a teaspoon of chili powder. Oh my God. That's a lot more than a teaspoon. Is that good? <laughs> yeah. I don't have a teaspoon, they're all packed up. So I'm using a spoon and just totally winging it. If you're new to our channel, we're in the middle of a move. We're moving like less than three weeks. Yeah. So all the kitchen stuff. Is All right, next is a teaspoon of cu cumin powder. <laughs> How much? A teaspoon. <laughs> that is not what that one. My <laughs> I like cumin too. <laughs> I like my flute and my food. Flavorful. <laughs> Your flute flavorful? Flavorful. I don't like bland food. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. Next is two packets of ranch seasoning. One. I think there's four in here. That would be two. At least this one will know, right? Yep. You? Mm. <clears throat> Sounds like a lot, but it's really good. Yeah. Yeah, well, it is a lot of the, the whiteness and creaminess and the sauce too, right? Yep. So next you're going to do two cans of Rotel. Just pour them in. Don't drain them. You're not going to drain any of the canned stuff you add because it helps with the juice. So that's two cans of that. Okay, next you're going to add two cans of corn, also not drained. So this is actually our home canned corn. Um, from last year and it's really really good so you're gonna add both of those make sure not to drain them all right so there you have it um, if you wanted to you could also add any kind of beans that you wanted to obviously some people like beans in their chili we do not but it is a good thing if you like them so you can add that too just make sure not to drain it um, but that's it for right now we're gonna put it on low for six to seven hours because it's early for us, but if you were in a hurry, you could put it on high for about four hours. And then we'll come back in a little bit and show the rest. Yes. That's weird. That's regular Reynolds right? Oh, I did it. Hey, remember I cut off a little bit. That's right. That's just me. <laughs> All right, it's been a few hours. Uh, we're cleaned up now <laughs> from earlier today. Well, 
No. <laughs> nope. Nope. It's time to shred the chicken and add the cream cheese. Um, so this is really easy to do. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So the chicken's been going for so long uh, that all you gotta do is just take a couple forks and the crock pot and just shred them out. I'll show you. Okay, so yeah, it looks so good. So we have packed up all of our real forks. So I'm using pear tongs and a spoon we got, but it's been in here so long, it is so easy to tear apart. Uh, you just really need two things so you don't burn yourselves and just really peel it out. Use one to hold and the other one to kind of drag it, kind of thing. So good. Yes, it does. Okay, so that's what she looks like when she's all shredded up, nice and equal and all fogged up now. <laughs> all right, so the last and final ingredient and step is to add cream cheese. So you can do two if you want. That's what um, I used to do, but it felt like it was just too thick and too cheesy. So we're just gonna use one, one block. I think it's like eight ounces or something like that. Um, and just cut it up into little cubes because it helps it melt quicker. And once you put it in there, it takes about an hour or so for it to all melt real good and totally become one. Become one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so yeah, so she's adding the rest of that in there. If you've ever mess, messed with cream cheese, you know how sticky it is. So it's taking her second to get that all chopped up. Uh, but we'll show you once we get it in and you just stir it up together. So if you put this in a crock pot and say you go to work or something, um, when you get home from work, you can just do the cream cheese and stir it up. Um, but if you're home the whole time, just add it the last hour before it's done. Um, and just kind of stir it around and watch it and make sure that everything kind of gets incorporated and maybe help it along a little bit by stirring it. It helps it melt faster, but it's going to be so good. All right, open that beautiful goodness. I think it's mostly done. I'm tired of waiting. I'm hungry, but it is done. Yay. That looks fantastic. That looks good. Yummy. Give me that bowl, girl. We don't have anything with us? Like chips. Chips. Oh yeah, little, little toastitos. Mm. Everything we got is either Tupperware or paper. Everything's so packed up, it's hard to even eat around here. What is that? You're not gonna use the Tupperware? No. Interesting. <laughs> oh, a little cheese. On top of shredded cheese. Should we, put, we should put a little sour cream on top of it. We should. And we like to eat it with chips. It's really, really good with chips. I got sour cream, taco sauce, hot sauce. Sour cream, hot sauce. Sour cream and hot sauce. This is one of those, you should probably do some physical work before eating. Yeah. <laughs> but it will warm you up inside. It will warm you up inside, that's for sure. Like a little taco sauce and hot sauce. Is anybody else's wife, when you're making the same meal, every time she uses the condiment that she knows she's about to hand right to you, put the top right back on. Like, can you, I can get the top on. <laughs> every day, what? You no, I'm the, not gonna do it. Not ten, I'd drop. How much do you want? Um, one more, one more dollop. Boom. Done. Dollop a daisy. There it is. Yum yums. A little shredded cheddar, a little hot sauce, a little taco sauce, and a little bit of sour cream. Chips. Now let's eat. And this is too tiny. No, I got the right ones. I got what I wanted. No, she didn't. Oh my gosh. It's fine. No, it was the right size. It was the exact same size. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm not. Here we go. Whatsoever. Perfect. Actually, yours is still smaller. <clears throat> Mine looks all oh, hot. Okay, if you've made it to this section of the video, first off, thank you for watching so much. Dinner was fantastic. It was. Quite enjoyed it. Well, we've got a bunch of peppers, like a, just a, a lot of sugar okay. rush. Sugar rush. Sugar <laughs> I, can't, rush. I can't talk because I don't want to do what we're about to do. He's so nervous. <sighs> okay. He agreed to this last night, so I'm not letting him off the. 
So first up, we're gonna make some poppers. Yes. Um, all that one is one of our favorite things to do with peppers. Yeah, especially with jalapenos. It's really good. You just cut them in half, you stir some cream cheese with some shredded cheese. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see. Um, and then you top it with bacon bits, pop it in the oven for 350 um, until like it gets a little melty. Um, and they're super good and super yummy. Well, she has this bright idea that we really truly need to see we need it. how much hotter a Sugar Rush peach pepper is over a jalapeno. And yes, I'm wearing gloves, even though we're just taking a bite. I'm not. She's gonna regret that decision. Uh, so, so I've eaten the Sugar Rush peach, but I couldn't tell with it not being next to a jalapeno if it's hotter or not. So we're gonna find out. I don't know how we're gonna do this though. We're, either one we eat first is gonna light us on fire. Right. Well, we'll, uh, okay, so we'll eat one, we'll drink the milk, we'll let it calm down, and then we'll do the other. Okay, so jalapeno first? Yes. <laughs> uh, I'm three. One. I'm scared. Two. <laughs> and I have way. Halfway. Right? Uh-huh. We have milk. There's heat. Okay, so. There's heat. <laughs> I'm going to tell you the sugar rush is going to be hotter. I know it's going to be hotter. No. It's good though. It's not that bad. It's so crunchy. I love it. So yeah, good. Sure. I don't like hot peppers. Ha! I don't even need a milk. But I guess I need to calm it down, right? So I can see which one is. Yeah. I'm trying to sip it because I know I'm going to need the and full I cup don't of like milk. milk. <laughs> So milk is like one of the only things that calm heat. Um, so that's why we're drinking milk if you're unaware. If you ever do get a stingy sting or decide to cut peppers with that gloves and touch your nose, yeah. use the restroom, get your old glass of milk. Yeah. Helps it. Soak your hot. Okay. Body parts of I'm good. You good? That I wasn't too so. bad. The milk is still a little hot. So. Um, if you've never had jalapeno, just basic jalapeno, nothing special. So we, we just really wanted to, obviously, we could just Google these BTUs, and I think that would be the smartest Probably. thing for us to do right now. Um, but she thought, hey, let's do a real life thing. And we got into the seeds. Yeah. And we were going to do... So fresh. These are obviously both grown from our garden. But yeah, we, we harvested them yesterday evening. There's just so. no comparison between a store-bought jalapeno and a homegrown jalapeno. Yep. I, I'm gonna, you're gonna talk me out of this. We don't just do, do it. Marty Day, halfway. I, cheers. Cheers. I want more than halfway. Oh, see. Okay. I say these are the same. I think so too. That wasn't too bad. I mean, it might be like a. A it's smidgen hotter. hotter. Oh, thank you, sweet baby Jesus. <laughs> it's starting to hit back here, though. But yeah, I mean, it's definitely... It might be a little bit... Okay, maybe it's longer lasting. It's longer lasting. It's, <laughs> it's definitely longer lasting. And we <laughs> definitely... starting to run. We definitely got into the uh, seeds. I mean, we didn't yeah. bite her all with... Oh, basically. Ah. I think it's a... I spit it out. It hits you afterwards. Rather ah. than a jalapeno just... Yeah. It's hanging just, it's like, hot. back here. That's <laughs> what <laughs> <coughs> I mean, it's good though. Like, I wouldn't oh, not eat one again because I think it's good. They're gonna be good as poppers. Yeah. I, I mean, it's definitely hot. It's not like crippling me to uh -huh. my knees, which I thought it was going to. Yeah. It'll definitely be just fine in a popper. The cream cheese will help cool it down a little. <laughs> I can't. If I'm talking about, I can't feel this side of my tongue or my mouth. I don't want to touch my face. <laughs> so water. Should wear gloves. Oh my nose is like, oh. It I got, definitely I got, hangs on longer. I got like an immediate headache too. So that's fine. It's just it coats your throat. No, no, no. Get hotter. Okay. <laughs> ah, it's like up in my gums too. Mm -hmm. mm, like by my teeth. Yeah. My teeth that can't be. They're a little bit juicier. Excuse me. So when you bite them, they kind of disperse <laughs> in your mouth. She's, Give me a tomato. Oh, ooh, Rosellas. Ah. Oh, I got a sound coming to you. I don't feel well doing. Hot. It's warm. Um, uh, Definitely my warm. My tongue is. I can't feel it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're getting our wisdom teeth taken out. Like, you, I can't feel nothing. It's in my teeth. Yeah, it's like in my... If, it's, it's, if your tongue touches your teeth. Yeah, it's yeah. up in my gums. And, like, every time you, like, move your tongue around, it's like you're spreading the heat. 
Okay, so they're definitely hotter than a jalapeno. But not like... Not like a heartburn. Yeah. <laughs> I had a headache. But it's not like habanero hot. Um, I've never had a habanero. I haven't either, but at least what I hear, it's really, really hot. Um, gosh, I can't talk. Yeah. Okay. So, that was miserable. Yeah. <laughs> Are you happy with yourself? No. With the decision that we made here? I'm not. But now we know. I'm glad we know, because I will never just casually eat one of those. I changed my mind. <laughs> okay, so if you do want to make poppers, um, this video is probably long enough as it is, so we won't uh, hold you through it. Cut the tops off, split it in half, uh, get you like a little spoon or something, <laughs> them, and just scrape out the seeds and the veins, because that's where a lot of your heat is. Um, if you're just eating the part of the pepper with the cream cheese on it, you're still going to get some heat, but it isn't going to be like what we're facing right now. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I might be. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw it drink. <laughs> Very good chance. If I did, I have no idea I did it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, then you just do a little little bit of cream cheese on top, 350 for, I would say probably 15 minutes or so, 15, 20 minutes. Just let them get soft and all nice and gooey. And then you have a nice little sweet. It's so good. Sweet and spicy Dip treat. Different ranch. Yes, the ranch. And you're good to go. Whatever. Hope you enjoyed today. <laughs> Maybe next year we can grow some a little bit hotter and try this again because that was kind of fun, but also really not. Probably more fun for you all. I feel like you hurt me more than I hurt you, and that wasn't planned. I know it did. <laughs> <laughs> Backfired. Um, let us know if you tried the white, what was it? Cream cheese chicken? Uh, crock pot, cream cheese chicken chili. Sounds right. It works. Um, it also would be really good to use that like as the meat for enchiladas mm -hmm. or for quesadillas. Which I think we're gonna do for dinner tonight. Yeah, um, you can also put that on. <laughs> <laughs> you can also put that on top for uh, nachos. Mm -hmm. um, maybe with a little salsa and then throw a little sour cream on. Well, it's kind of like cream cheese. The yeah. sour cream is a little much. Why? Well, it made it a little too creamy. Um, but yeah, it's all kinds of options with that. It's a good source, or just eat it with chips like we did. Um, but other than that, I think that's it for this video. We're gonna go, I'm gonna go put my face in the yeah. water or in the milk here and just let it cool down. It's just my tongue. It's right here, my lip, because that's like where I bit it off. So like right here and then up in here and back. And I'm just touching my face with the freaking gloves. Okay. All right, y'all. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to down below. We love y'all. <laughs> Until the next one. Bye. <laughs>